I'm Ted Schechter. For the people who uh, don't know me, I'm the chief engineer for the Corvette. Okay, a lot of that uh, comes from the technology we put in the car. A lot of it introduced uh, last year, because um, like I said, we've designed this car fundamentally uh, towards this goal, towards this, uh, this pinnacle car that is the 06. Everything from a, the way the, the chassis is developed, the aluminum structure, the aerodynamics, uh, where we spend a lot of time using the, the tools from the race team, uh, to hone the, the aerodynamics, uh, extremely important, and uh, this car has enormous amounts of downforce, uh, far more than we've measured on any other car. That's part of the reason it's uh, very confident to drive. Uh, use of materials throughout the car make it very light, very stiff. Uh, tech transfer from racing all over the car. Even the PDR itself is a tech transfer story uh, from the way the race team looks to find uh, time, analyze driver performance. It's the exact same kind of thing. Uh, that you're able to buy out of the factory. Uh, tires, um, I'll talk about uh, Lee Willard here in a minute, and uh, it's one of the things you'll want to talk about, he's right here, uh, talk to him about is the tech transfer from racing uh, getting into these tires. I want to talk a little bit more about racing because racing is really important to us. Uh, a lot of people uh, use racing just as marketing speak. Um, you know, everything's racing inspired. For us, it's not racing inspired, it's racing reality. It's taking the real race hardware and saying how much of it can we put into the streetcar, make the best possible streetcar we can, which in turn turns into the best possible basis for the next generation race car. And that's what we've been doing for three generations of cars, starting with the fifth generation of Corvette. Uh, we returned uh, to endurance racing back in 1999 and we've been uh, arguably one of the most successful race programs in racing history, any kind of racing. Uh, consistently there since 1999, 94 class uh, victories, stayed consistent all the way through the fifth generation, sixth generation, and out of the box, the seventh generation, based on this C06, which the race team uh, described as the perfect starting point. Uh, optimally, everything about the car, the way it, uh, its geometry, its proportions, the surfacing was such a good starting point, they really had very little uh, to do to start to develop the race car. And when you look at the race car and you park them side by side, you can see how similar they are. And for the first time in history, the race team didn't start with a, a car that was terrible from a lift standpoint and have to focus all their attention on getting some downforce. This is the first time in history where they started with a car and they actually had to worry about drag. They already had so much downforce in the car, they started thinking, hmm, you know, how can we get higher straightaway speeds? Maybe we should work on drag reduction, which is a first uh, for the race team. So right out of the box, C7R, uh, four wins in the, the first 11 races, uh, more than any other manufacturers who are off to an uh, extremely good start and expect us to be uh, very consistent uh, in the race series. So that's kind of the overview. I want to let the experts uh, talk more uh, in detail, but uh, I really wanted to call out who's talking about what. Kirk Benyon, who's right over here, he's our exterior design manager. Um, he can talk to, he, he's the guy who spends all the nights, because a lot of time it's nights, uh, zero shift. So the middle of the night, midnight to uh, 8 a.m. the next morning. He spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel uh, balancing the aesthetic and the functional needs uh, for the car, as well as the packaging needs, uh, cooling needs, all sorts of things have to be balanced. Uh, extremely challenging to do a very good looking car that also does that uh, functionality. Kirk's the perfect guy to do that. Uh, you know, fantastic uh, designer. Also very at home on a track uh, as a driving instructor, so he's got the form and function uh, down perfectly. So in addition to Kirk, you know, we can't talk about this car without talking about the heart of the beast. I went through my whole presentation. I didn't even talk about horsepower. I just talked about the performance, but the engine is uh, a very stout piece. Uh, it's an understatement. Even though it's packaged about the same size uh, as the base engine, it's probably the lightest, smallest 650 horsepower engine out there, especially one that produces 650 foot-pounds uh, of torque. Uh, enormous technology in this small block engine, Dustin Gardner over here to uh, answer any questions uh, you have about that. Uh, in terms of transmissions, the rest of the drive line, uh, when you look at 650 horsepower cars around the world, typically you find a single paddle shifting transmission solution. 
no traditional uh, three pedal uh, manual transmission. We still do both. We do a fantastic seven speed rev match uh, manual transmission. Very engaging driving experience. Uh, many of us love it. That's the way we were uh, born to drive. And then we have an all new eight speed automatic paddle shift, lightning fast shifts. And when you get out there on the track, uh, you can just set it and drive and let it shift for it, itself just to do that tomorrow and uh, experience that. Uh, it's kind of mind blowing how, uh, how well that works. Jeff Pollitton, right here, uh, can answer any uh, questions you have about the transmissions. I already showed you the, the performance data recorder. Uh, we wouldn't have a performance data recorder if it wasn't for Harlan Charles, our uh, program product manager. Um, Harlan is uh, kind of the voice of the customer. Uh, he doesn't just do PDR, he does all aspects of uh, defining the, the Corvette kind of from the customer's uh, perspective. Uh, but he's here today to take, take you through a uh, demonstration of PDR and answer any questions you got about that. Okay, uh, chassis controls. You know, it's one thing to have a, a bunch of hardware. You can even have first rate hardware on the car, but unless you integrate everything, and make everything work together, the car won't be very good. You can have absolutely the best individual components, but unless they blend together, the driving experience uh, won't be very good. And that's something we focus on uh, very intently. Uh, to be honest, some of that was probably uh, based on our history. As General Motors uh, headed towards bankruptcy, we didn't have a lot of money to buy the best hardware. We actually had to learn to make the best out of what we could afford. And so we developed a really good capability for maximizing uh, the capability of any hardware set. Now, for this car, we have nothing but the best. And uh, we're putting on top of that our ability to integrate that stuff together uh, to make a car that uh, comes across as completely one piece, like one person designed the, the whole thing. From the driver's seat, it feels completely integrated, even though there's millions or billions of digital uh, calculations going on uh, in the car. Putting that all together is uh, our development group's uh, job. We have Alex McDonald back here and Chris Barber uh, to talk to you about uh, at least the ELSD and other content that goes into uh, the chassis controls as well as all the other ride modes uh, that you can use in the car. And then finally, uh, a couple of key partners we have here today. Brembo, maker of the best brakes in the world. Uh, we have a standard uh, iron brakes on this car and then ceramics, you know, world best uh, brakes, ceramic brakes. Uh, we have Benjamin Pohl back here uh, in the back uh, to talk about brakes. I talked about the braking distance. You know, it's a combination of their hardware and the next guy I'll talk about, the Michelin tires, along with the integration uh, of Alex and Chris. Work, it's all of that stuff working together that gets you the performance that you see. You'll find Brembo brakes, Michelin tires on uh, almost all of the elite competition around the world. Uh, but uh, we're putting to the best use here uh, to get the best performance. So Michelin, Lee Willard, I mentioned, and he's ably assisted by uh, Jim Knowles back here to talk to you about uh, the tires, uh, the partnership that we have uh, with General Motors. Uh, Lee is the embodiment of tech transfer, doing the race tires for the C7R and the street tires uh, for the Corvette is the perfect way to have a single individual do that technology transfer from uh, racing to uh, street tires. So.